Hey guys, Big Al here with uh, another squirrel hunting update. Uh, today I got this nice fox squirrel, this gray squirrel, and then I got another red squirrel this evening. Um, I actually didn't do so well because uh, there were a lot of squirrels and uh, I was less than 50% of my shots um, due to um, just uh, bad shot selection and some, uh, I need to adjust the trigger a little bit. It's a little, it's a little creepy and a little heavy. Um, but anyways, we got these two nice squirrels, so I'm gonna skin those up and I'll eat them. And I think I'm gonna keep the hide for that fox squirrel. Today is September 16th or something like that, and um, it's fall. And um, I'm not really into fall squirrel hunting, but there are squirrels out there, so thought I should give it a shot. So. See ya, Big Al out. Hey guys, Big Al here. Um, I was halfway skinning through this gray squirrel, and I found something very interesting. So, when I shot this gray squirrel, it went through its right side, right there in between the ribs. It no doubt got lungs. And if you take a look in there, we got all the lungs, and there's the behind there, and the liver, and all the good stuff in there. And then it exited right here, exit hole in the hide being right there. And what I found at the end of the hide was that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little piece of copper. And it is from a 22 bullet. And I found it interesting that it stayed in the hide. And I'm going to weigh it later to see how much weight retention it had and how much it lost. I just thought that was interesting. So, you know, another interesting thing.